world about Jesus and I felt so convicted of it. I felt like crying. Mm. I was like the mood was for me. It is the first test for these two countries here at the 2022 FIFA World Cup. Who will experience liftoff in the opener? And I love Jesus too. Do you? Don't go anywhere. We'll have all the action for you live. Jesus you are supposed to love Jesus more than you. You should love him more than you. I love Jesus more than you. <laughs> That's no problem. Hello, good evening to you. And part of the story here is the Albite Stadium by night. 60,000 capacity here. I'm Derek Ray in the commentary position, and I'm joined for expert analysis no by my partner, Stuart Robson. And it is a first test for these two countries here at the 2022 FIFA World Cup. It's Germany versus Japan. Well, thank you, Derek. This is such an important game. Both sides will be desperate to start this as well. Let's hope to see some great football today. What? Here's the starting lineup for Germany. Manuel Neuer stands between the posts. Niklas Zule starts with Antonio Rudiger in central defense. Serge Gnabry starts with Leroy Zane in the wide positions. And in this tactical setup, they have just the one player in attack. And here's the starting 11 for Japan. Well, they're playing the same shape, really. So it's all about getting control of that central area. And which of the wide players has the greatest effect on the game? And the contest begins. A chopping challenge, and the referee has got to have a big think about it. Well, a yellow card so early in this one, Stuart. Well, it doesn't matter how early it is in the game, that's a poor challenge and deserved the booking. So close to seeing an early goal here. It's a great save, you have to say. Well, who knows? He might be called upon again. Still some defending to do. It might appeal to Muna. Not really the ideal clearance. But a time for calm on the ball. Well, doesn't have to do it on his own. The referee knew that was foul play, but advantage it is. Well, he would have been disappointed had he spilled that one. Possession lost. Oh, the threat is there. Oh, and nearly on target. Not quite, though. Yeah, very nearly, but the goalkeeper had it covered. It wasn't really a great effort. 
Well, perhaps he thought he might escape punishment. Not the case. It's a booking. Gaku Shibasaki. Beautifully disguised ball. And pushed away to safety. The referee is given a corner. Played over. A deft clearance. Yoshida. Read it superbly to take back possession. Yozua Kimi. Gnabry with it. And the emphasis is on creativity. A fine reading of the situation. Bodies forward and the break looks on. Can they take advantage of the situation? Oh, he saved it well. Can someone get on the end of this? Well, it still could be dangerous. Well, the stats confirm that Germany have had the lion's share of possession. And unless they start passing it with more penetration, they'll struggle to win this game, which will be a major disappointment. Well, the initial save is a good one, as you can see, but unfortunately, it drops straight to an opponent. A bit unlucky, really. So the match is restarted. 1-0 here. Well, that's how to keep the opposition at bay. Thomas Müller. Well, they're on the scent of something positive. And intercepted it. So two minutes of stoppage time to be added on. Leroy Zane. Müller. And the whistle is sounded for half time in this game. So back in business here, the ball is moving again, and it's advantage Germany after the first half. Let's see what the second 45 has in store for us. Havertz, being egged on by the crowd. Great strong tackle, throw in forthcoming. Zane. A 
sloppy pass. Asano. Intelligent threaded pass here. Oh, he's blocked it. Niklas Zule. Having won the ball back, they might be able to profit. Making progress. Well, that's a well-timed pass. And it wasn't taxing for the keeper. Oh, it's a penalty in the opinion of the referee. And maybe they'll be able to level this up. And it has been judged to have been a bookable offence. Well, I think the referee's got that right all round. It was a penalty and it was a yellow card. Chance to even things up here. A goal! Calmly taken spot kick. But here's the replay, and it's almost the perfect penalty. Keeper's guessed the right way, but it's so far into that corner, it's almost impossible for him to say. That's how you take a spot kick. So back underway, they've leveled it at 1-1 here. Now can they counter clinically? Chances on. Well, how about that for a piece of tackling to break things up? Can he put them in front? And still a chance. Well, the teams are locked together. Will it stay that way following this corner? Now sending it in. It hasn't come to very much. Just made sure nothing came of that. Well, the injury will mean a stoppage. The referee going down that road so treatment can be administered now. Substitution for the hosts. Coming on the pitch, number 13, Thomas Mueller, to be replaced by number 21, Ilkay Bunduren. Not a drop ball after the injury situation. Serge Gnabry. And slipped through beautifully. Can he finish here? Terrific save. Just 10 minutes to go. Not a great pass. Kimi. Now, who can he play it to? Kamada. Might be a chance here. Firing it towards goal. Oh, commanding goalkeeping. Well, both teams have had substitutes swarming up, and now both will rely on their respective benches. He's driven in the corner. Struggling to get it away. Happy to take on the shot. The keeper was never likely to be in trouble then. And the electronic board delivers the news. Two minutes of stoppage time. And that is going to be all for this game. Well, we were treated to goals, but no winners in the end. Stuart, what did you make of it? Well, Derek, it was certainly entertaining. Both sides had periods of the game where they were dominant. But overall, I think a draw is just about the right result.